Grand Prix Insights is presented by Allianz. F1 cars have disc brakes, just like road cars, except that ours are made of carbon. And the reason we use these is the fantastic performance we get from them, and they're very light. The corner of one car is less than two kilos in braking material. This material was developed from the material used for aircraft. And in fact, the initial brakes were the offcuts that came from the middle of the big discs that they made for the aircraft. And we started to use the middle bit, which up until then had gone to waste. The rotating discs are held in pads, which are pushed in by hydraulic calipers. Um, when we brake, the momentum of the car is transformed into heat and light. Hence why you see the glowing brake discs uh, from outside of the car. They operate at fantastically high temperatures. They can go up to a thousand degrees centigrade while they're on the car. If they get too high, they start to oxidize, but their optimum temperature is running about 700 degrees. It takes about nine seconds to accelerate a car from 100 to 300 kilometers an hour, but with these things, we pull it back down again in two and a half seconds. And it's a really interesting area of technology of modern Formula One cars. Sixty percent of the braking is done by the front brakes and 40% by the rear brakes. This is because of the load transfer that occurs when we're braking. So it's an amazing force that occurs. I mean, we do, I think, up to 5G force uh, in braking, which is just huge. Grand Prix Insights was presented by Allianz.